is kneeling side kicks, which occurs right after leg pull up. So you'll come up to kneeling facing the side of the mat, your knees are slightly apart, and then raise your arms to a T position. Begin to lean towards your right side as you extend the left leg long on the mat and hold it there for a moment. So align your wrist under your shoulder, the fingers are facing out on an angle, that's right, and then have a slight tuck of the tailbone so the hips are stacked. From here, you'll bring your top hand behind your head, cupping the back of your neck to lengthen your spine. Then lift your top leg up so that it's in line with the hip. From here, flex your top heel, kick it two times forward and once to the back. And continue this three more times. So your range of motion here in this position will be much smaller than what you were able to do in the side kick series because you're in a much more unstable position. That's it, Madeline. Lower your knee down here and bend it. Then come back up to your kneeling position with the arms in a T, and you'll switch to the other side. So side bend over the left side, lower your hand towards the mat, and extend your right leg long. Now from here, imagine like you're a piece of toast in a toaster. You don't want to be burnt, so both sides are drawing in, the front and back. The top hand is behind the head. Lift your leg, flex your heel, then kick the leg forward two times, point the toe and reach back. And again here, keeping the hips nice and stable. That's it. Just one more time, Madeline, so you're even on both sides. Now bring your leg centered here, lower your foot down to the mat, bend your kneel, knees, and come right back up to kneeling, and lower your arms down. That's kneeling side kicks. Now if you want to challenge that exercise, you can incorporate some of the choreography from the side kick series, such as the small circles or the up-down.